everybody welcome back to the channel in this video I am going to explain an issue with the spectrum modem uh, before I get into this uh, I had an issue to where I was playing a video game that used some network features and as I was playing, my network just totally went down. Just totally went down. And it was down for three days because uh, the issue was I couldn't isolate the issue very well because it was giving me uh, signs of other issues. Okay, so what you are looking at now is the spectrum modem uh, it's an all-in-one basically so you have power online and voice this particular model is a higher-end model picture shown so it does have a battery and this is what it looks like on the back so this is a DOC SIS 3.1 EMTA that is the serial number so if you have this particular modem you want to listen to this so what happened was is I have my family has a uh, networking equipment in another room that's where it comes into the house this was part of that this is a networking switch so what was happening was is if you can see it on camera, these lights were flashing super fast. It looked like a laser light show. And all of a sudden, none of the computers had network to them. So my other family member called Spectrum, and they can only see from what's from their servers all the way up into the modem. They can only see basically half into the modem. The other half they don't see. So what happened was, is there was a firmware update to this specific um, type of modem. And it brought everything down. Well, this update messed with the DHCP protocol. That is your dynamic host configuration protocol. So what was happening was, is basically it was only allowing one computer to have network at a time, even with the switch. There is an easy fix for that. And I'm going to explain how that works. So basically what would happen is, is as you can see here on the diagram, we took one computer and plugged it directly in there and it was fine. So their equipment was working. It's just that the modem received a weird update, firmware update, and it didn't work. So to alleviate that problem, what we did is we bought an Aero Mesh Network. Right, so we got this. Uh, let me go back here just to make. All right. Uh, this is from Best Buy. This is where we where we bought it. So you have these three, and you hook. And what's nice about these is on the back of all three you have a two port switch so basically what happens is is you plug from your modem into the arrow and out and if you have multiple computers like I do one out to a networking switch so here's what happened since the modem DHCP protocol got messed up I ran the modem straight uh, the uh, excuse me the arrow in directly into the modem. So now the arrow, since it's hardlined into the modem, takes care of the DHCP protocol. So basically what happens is, is 
one IP address from the modem goes in, the arrow handles the data packets on how it wants to do. I didn't do any modifications. This is just straight out of the box. So now all the computers in my house have network. It's faster and all that. So it took the load off the modem. So that's how that works. Now I do have pictures here and I will show those. All right, so what you're looking at now is the modem setup. So basically what I did is I took a yellow ethernet cable, ran it from the modem into the arrow, and then what I did is I took another yellow cable, that's what I had, and I ran it into the switch. So basically what happens is, is when a computer calls for something, especially in my room because this is in a different room, goes through the Ethernet cable, goes through this networking switch, goes into the arrow, and then the arrow sends it to the modem, and then it sends it to the Spectrum servers to go online. Now, most of the time I hear about a situation like this, it's in an enterprise situation. Obviously, I'm in a house, so that is a, what they call a Soho network, small office, home office. I've never heard of anything happening like that. All right, so this is the back. As you can see, there is a two port switch on the arrow as you can see it we have the networking switch and we have it plugged into the modem as soon as i set up the arrow my network came back alive at a hundred percent instantly so and as i stated before this is right out of the box and the issue that i have with this is Spectrum doesn't uh, maintain the firmware updates for their modem. That is a separate company. So if you run into this issue, get a, uh, I, I used an Aero mesh network. Uh, I'm going by how I fixed the issue. So when we got the Aero network, it took care of the DHCP protocol uh, instantly. It took care of that and depending on how much traffic is going through, yes, sometimes the lights still go crazy, but we haven't had any network interruptions or anything like that. And this is a case of bad firmware update, a weird firmware update. And I'm making this video so that way if someone else runs into another problem that they could easily fix the problem. I will post a link of the arrow kit that my family got. It's not the most expensive one. It was actually a you know a decent price for what it is. So with that said, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.